obviously really disappointed um, and heartbroken for Jordan Frerichs uh, in her ACL injury. And then on top of that, uh, in the last week, we had Bree Porter go down with an ACL as well. And so um, more than likely career ending. We haven't talked a lot specifically about that. Uh, but had two big losses uh, for those two, and, and just uh, my heart aches for them. Um, they've invested a lot. Excited for sure we'll have Jordan back uh, for a fifth year. Uh, we're kind of wait and see with Bree Porter right now. But um, I want to make it very clear, expectations for the season have not changed. Um, and, uh, you know, it's an opportunity for some other people to step up. And uh, we're definitely going to need them to. So well, I, I, have a, I have a feeling that it's going to be... Um, it just uh, we've got a hard road ahead of us, uh, but we're looking forward to embracing it, and I think it can be a fantastic year for us. And we're looking on building from the success of last year. Lost a couple of your bigs. Talk about what happens in the post now. It's a work in progress. Um, you know, we're force feeding Hannah uh, shoots at a. I mean, every day in practice, we're really challenging her, and I really think that's a kid that's got an unbelievable upside. Uh, she's got the ability to to rebound really well. Uh, out of her area, she's got a, does a good job for just kind of reading, um, um, you know, the bounce off the rim, and uh, she's doing some really good things for us. She runs extremely well. Uh, we're going to need to get a lot of mileage out of her this year. Um, you know, that's a kid that was recruited by South Carolina. Uh, she's got a lot of athleticism, and uh, just working on uh, fine tuning some parts of her game. I uh, need to get some experience under her belt. Um, so I think, you know, early on I could see some, some ups and downs with her game. But I think as the season goes on, I think everyone's going to be really impressed uh, where she ends up at the end of, of this season, which is uh, her redshirt freshman year. Sierra Porter uh, still coming back from her Liz Frank surgery. And so she was really limited this summer um, in what she could get done on the court. Uh, spent a lot of time on rehab. She's just now getting back into practices, uh, and she's not in full go uh, practices yet, but she's getting closer to that. Um, and then uh, we'll have Kayla McDowell, who suffered a hamstring uh, injury a couple weeks ago. So she's been out, but she's been back with us for the last Golly, probably about the last week we've been ramping things up with her. She looks as good as she's ever looked. Uh, she looks really strong, uh, really solid for us. Amber Smith has been a nice addition for us, freshman from Louisiana. Uh, undersized uh, stretch four man that could probably play the three or four spot, but she's awfully powerful, very explosive, um, has a really good feel for the game. And so we'll have to do it a little bit by committee. I don't think we've got one player that can replace uh, Jordan Frerichs. And obviously losing Bree is a, a big loss for us as well. She was playing extremely well in practice. Uh, but we'll have to do it by committee. You know, And I told our players what stands out to me about Jordan Frerichs is um, it wasn't necessarily anything fancy. She was just blue collar that uh, just had a second to none work ethic and just competed. And uh, everyone's going to have to step up a little bit.